Today we're taking a look at this 15 millimeter auto macro extension tube for Canon RF cameras. This is a 15 millimeter macro extension tube. It goes between a Canon RF camera and Canon RF lens, and it increases the magnification of your Canon RF lens, turning any Canon RF lens into a macro focus lens. As you can see here, it's got a nice metal construction to it, very durable, all metal, beautiful finish, so it fits right in with your Canon RF professional gear. And this is an auto macro extension tube, which means it has electronic communication pins built into it. So it electronically communicates between the Canon RF lens and Canon RF camera, so you can still control the aperture and autofocus of your lens, which is great because you know a lot of macro extension tubes do not have electronic communication pins, which means you lose electronic communication when you adapt your lens and you can no longer autofocus or adjust aperture. This adapter allows you to do both, adjust your aperture, adjust your autofocus, which is really nice if you're shooting macro photography and you don't wanna have to do the fine tuning of the focus. This adapter will allow you to keep using the autofocus features of your lens so you can autofocus when you're shooting macro. Let's take a look at how to use this macro tube with a Canon EOS R camera. I've got my Canon EOS R100 here. This is currently the most affordable Canon RF mount camera that Canon makes. And this is the 18 to 45 millimeter kit lens that comes with this camera. Also very cheap, very affordable. Uh, but when paired with this macro extension tube, I was actually able to get some pretty beautiful macro shots. So to use this macro extension tube, we're first gonna have to remove the lens from our EOS R100 camera. And then we're going to mount the macro tube between the lens and camera. Find the red mounting dot on the lens, red mounting dot on the adapter, put them together rotate it to lock it into place. And as you can see, there's very little play with this macro tube. Keeps the lens on really nice and tight, which is nice. Now we're just gonna mount the macro tube and lens on to the R100. Line up the red mounting dots. There we go. And to use this lens, we actually have to extend it. That's currently in the closed mode. So we're gonna extend it Actually, we're going to go all the way to 45, and that'll get us a really nice crop in for really close-up macro detail. Let's turn on the camera, and as you can see here, we are getting full aperture control. I'll show you right here. I'm adjusting the aperture. So we get full electronic aperture control through this auto macro extension tube, and we also get full autofocus control. I'm actually gonna show you right now, here we've got this little dried cicada, put it down right here. And uh, here's the first shot I captured of the cicada earlier, and this is with just the lens uh, without the macro extension tube. As you can see, I'm only cropped in so far. I'm getting some nice detail. Uh, but I'm not able to really get super close in and get some really nice macro detail. Now let's take the same shot, but with our 15 millimeter auto macro extension tube, we're at 45 millimeters. We can auto focus the lens, get right in there. And as you can see with the 15 millimeter macro extension tube, we're able to focus closer on our subject and get a much more detailed macro shot. Now, how do macro extension tubes work? Well, it's actually pretty simple. A lens normally is designed to focus to infinity when mounted flush on its camera system's mount. So when this lens is mounted directly onto the camera without the macro tube, you can focus all the way to infinity, which means you can focus very far away. You can focus on a landscape shot and it will be sharp. But the minute you take this lens and remove it from the mount of the camera, take it farther away from the mount, the lens can no longer focus to infinity, it can no longer focus on landscapes, but now it can focus closer to closer subjects. Basically by moving the lens farther away from the camera, you're increasing its magnification. You're also decreasing its ability to focus far away. So when you use a macro extension tube, you can only do macro photography and close-up photography. You can no longer do portraits, group shots, or landscapes, uh, but it does unlock an entire world of macro photography. Now there's actually a way to do the math to figure out exactly how much magnification you're gonna get uh, with your specific lens and a specific millimeter of macro tube. And let's take a look at a macro calculator to show you how to do that. Okay, so I looked it up and this lens that we're using has a maximum 
magnification of 0.16. So let's go to our calculator. So we're gonna type in 0.16. Focal length is 45 and our macro extension tube is 15 millimeters. Let's calculate that. So our new magnification is 0.49x and the newest closest focusing distance is 203.4 millimeters. So if you wanna use this macro extension tube calculator for yourself, I will link it in the description below. Now we don't just sell a 15 millimeter auto macro tube for Canon R cameras. We also offer a longer 35 millimeter macro tube. And you can also stack multiple macro tubes together to increase your magnification even more. So let's actually take two 15 millimeter macro extension tubes and you mount them just like you would mount a lens to a camera, line up the red mounting dots, twist it to attach it. And with two 15 millimeter macro extension tubes, we're now at 30 millimeters of macro extension. Let's see how close we can focus on our cicada with 30 millimeters. We're just going to uh, attach the lens to our double macro kit. And because both of these auto macro tubes have electronic communication, you can actually send a signal between the lens and the two tubes to the camera. So you still have electronic control, even though you're doubling up the tubes. Okay, we've got our same subject again, but now we're at 30 millimeters of macro extension. So let's see how close we can get up on the subject now. And as you can see with the 30 millimeters of macro extension, we are increasing the magnification of the 45 millimeter zoom lens, and we're getting closer up on our macro subject for a more cropped in detailed shot. Let's actually do the math on the macro calculator for 30 millimeters and see what kind of magnification we're getting for that. Okay, we're back in our macro extension tube calculator. We've got the native magnification 0.16x for the lens. The millimeter is 45, but now we're changing the 15 to 30 because we're doubling up two 15 millimeter macro extension tubes. So our new magnification is 0.83x and our new closest focusing distance is 181.6 millimeters. So that definitely increases our magnification and allows us to focus even closer uh, with a lot more magnification. And here are some of the macro photos I've captured with this 15 millimeter auto macro extension tube. As you can see, even with this cheap camera and cheap kit lens, you can get some pretty beautiful results. I love photographing insects and I had a blast going out in nature with this macro tube and little camera and capturing some beautiful macro insect photography. You can also use fully manual lenses with this adapter. You don't need electronic lenses. Uh, this is a really unique lens that I like to use for macro. This is a Bausch & Lomb C-mount lens. It's a 25 millimeter lens, F1.9 aperture, so it's super fast. And uh, I've got this lens because it's C-mount on a C-mount to R adapter, but I can mount it on our 15 millimeter auto macro extension tube. And then I can mount it on our, our camera. So now I'm adding 15 millimeters of macro extension to this vintage C-mount lens, and I'm able to shoot macro photos with it. So this just goes to show you don't just have to use modern R lenses for macro photography. You can double adapt vintage lenses to these macro extension tubes and get beautiful results. Okay, that was a quick look at our auto macro extension tubes for Canon R cameras. Remember, you can use them individually or you can double them up for even more magnification. And if you'd like to get one of these adapters for yourself today, click the link in the description. It'll take you to our website where you can purchase one of these for yourself. And if you're interested in macro extension tubes, but you don't have a Canon R camera, we carry auto and manual macro extension tubes for all sorts of different camera mounts and lenses. And if you wanna learn more about all the macro extension tubes we have to offer, click the link in the description. If you have any questions or comments about anything in today's video, comment below, I'd love to engage with you. And also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy macro photography.